Helen, can you please lift Bobby to the end of the line? Oh dear, Helen, I think there's something wrong. Your winch cable looks like it's about to snap. Ah! Oh dear, oh dear. That wasn't supposed to happen. My arm is sore, but I'll be okay. Oh, Helen, you look badly hurt. I'll get Florence the forklift to lift you back up onto your skids and we'll take a look at you. The skids are a helicopter's feet. Helen rests on them when she isn't flying. Your skids seem okay, but your rotors have been damaged. Your winch cables snapped, and you're covered in scratches. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go, mechanicals! I'm really sorry, Helen. You're in such a sorry state. The mechanicals will fix you up, and you'll soon be feeling great. They'll swap your broken rotors, spray your scratches and much more. Fit a thicker cable to your winch, far, far stronger than before. Fantastic! Now you're all fixed up, let's head back outside and test your tough new winch out. Let's try sorting the vehicles by colours of the rainbow, starting with Fiona the red fire truck on the left. Next is Max, the orange monster truck. Do you know who comes next? That's right, it's Rick, the yellow road roller. After Rick, it's Rebecca, the green recycling truck. Who's next? That's right, it's Millie, the blue motorbike. And last, but definitely not least, it's Bobby, the purple bus. Careful now, Helen. Nice and steady. Brilliant. The mechanicals have fixed you up and made your winch even stronger. You can lift Bobby up no problem. And now the vehicles form a perfect rainbow. And they match the real rainbow up in the sky. Beautiful! Thanks Fiona, Max, Rick, Rebecca, Millie and Bobby. And thank you for joining us at the garage today. Hello everyone. We've got a visitor here today. Have you seen him anywhere? He's big. He's very big. He's George the Giant Dump Truck. Oh, there you are, George. George is usually hard at work in the mine, carrying massive amounts of rock. But today, he's here at Gecko's Garage getting some new tyres fitted. They are huge. George is so big, he can't fit inside the garage, so he's having his tyres changed outside. Those look great. Well done, Mechanicals. Before he goes home to the mine, George is going to visit his little brother Dylan the dump truck over at the construction site. The site entrance is wide. But George is much wider. Uh-oh. He's going to knock down the fence. Watch out, George. Oh, dear. Florence and Sid are getting the flowers ready to plant in the gardens of the new houses. What pretty flowers. Red. Yellow. A 
and blue. Don't leave the flowers there. Those flowers are tall. But George is much taller. Uh-oh. George can't see the flowers and he's going to squash them. Watch out, George. Oh, dear. Celia's pouring concrete foundations into that trench. The trench is large, but George is much larger. Uh-oh. He's going to drive straight through it. Watch out, George! Oh, dear. Here's George's brother, Dylan. He doesn't look very happy about all the mess that George has made today. And here comes Helen the helicopter. She's checking on the construction work from way high up in the sky. Oh dear, something's wrong. I think Helen's about to crash land on the construction site. Oh dear, poor Helen. We need to get you back to the garage. But how can we do that? I'd normally call Helen to carry a broken vehicle to the garage, but she can't carry herself. Helen is very big. Can you think of anyone that could help get Helen to the garage? George! That's right! Helen is very big, but George is much bigger. He can carry Helen back. George is too big for gardening. And he smashed the construction gate. He messed up Celia's concrete. That really wasn't great. But when Helen was in trouble, he knew just what to do. No matter if you're big or small, there's a perfect job for you. Well done, George. You've saved the day. The mechanicals will get Helen sorted out in no time. And you'd best head home to the mine. You've got important work to do. Bye! Oh! Uh-oh! The trees! Watch out, George! Too late! Great work, Chelsea! We'll be finished in no time! Old lamp off! New lamp on! Oh, hello everyone! I'm out and about today with my friend, Chelsea the Cherry Picker. We're busy replacing all of the old street lights with brilliant new LED bulbs. They use much less electricity and last much longer. A cherry picker, or boom lift, has an extending arm with a basket at the end to lift people up and down. I can move Chelsea's basket from this control panel. Would you like to take a closer look? This joystick is the most important control. I can move the basket left, right, higher and low. Ah! Uh-oh! Help! Help! Chelsea's arm is going crazy! I can't stop it! Chelsea, you need to drive us to the garage! Quickly! I think I'm going to be sick! Garage doors open at speed! It's time to help a gecko in need! We need to stop Chelsea's arm. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals! Hit 
the emergency stop button. Phew. Thanks, Blue Mechanical. Oh dear. It's good that Chelsea's arm has stopped moving. But now, I'm stuck high up in the air. Hello? Anybody? There must be a way to get the arm down to the ground again. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Chelsea turn. Chelsea has a sturdy base to keep her standing strong and a red emergency button to press when she goes wrong. She's got four wheels to move around, but as far as I can see, the up and down controls are stuck up here with me. I think the only way down is to get this joystick reattached. But blue, green and yellow mechanical can't get up to the basket. This looks like a job for Super Mechanical. Go, go, Super Mechanical. Phew. Thanks, Super Mechanical. I thought I'd never get back down to the ground again. I'm glad we could get you repaired, Chelsea. Whilst you're here at the garage, I've got a job for you to do. Can you help us put solar panels on the roof of the garage, please? Solar panels take light from the sun and turn it into electricity. We can use that electricity to help power the lights and the tools in the garage. We can even use it to charge up the mechanicals. It's really good for our planet. Thanks for your help, Chelsea. I think the mechanicals have all earned a rest and a recharge in their new charging stations. And I'll see you again next time. Bye! That's looking great. Oh, hello everyone. Gecko here. Chelsea the cherry pickers helping me and the mechanicals to decorate the town. Ready for the big truck parade this afternoon. My truck friends are meeting up at Gecko's garage to get ready for the parade. Let's go visit them. Wow! There's lots of big trucks here for the parade. But where's Florence the forklift? I thought she was joining us. Oh, there you are, Florence. I couldn't see you behind Fiona the fire truck. Hmm. I think this might be a problem during the parade. We want to make sure that all of the trucks can be seen by everyone. I think we should parade through the town in size order, with the smallest truck at the front and the largest at the back. This is no good at all. The trucks are all jumbled up. We need the smallest truck on the left. That's you, Florence. And we need the biggest truck on the right. That's you, George. Who's the second smallest vehicle after Florence? It's difficult to pick. Tilly, maybe? Or Ryan? No, it's our road roller, Rick. Now, out of Tilly and Chelsea, who would you say is smaller? Tilly's hook makes her look tall, but Chelsea's arm can go taller. There, just move around a bit. And we have our smallest four. But now things get tricky, as it's time to sort some more. Max is big, but he'd be hidden by Ryan's arm and wrecking ball. But Fiona's even bigger. She's like a huge red wall. We'll put Max five and Ryan six. 
Let's get them into line with Fiona number seven. Now we need an eight and nine. Here are our last few vehicles. Next biggest is Bobby the bus. Then it's Larry the large lorry because George is enormous. So Bobby's eighth and Larry ninth, which makes giant George the last. Now every vehicle will be seen when the parade goes past. Fantastic! Everyone is sorted into size order and ready for the parade. Let's go everyone, the crowd will be waiting. Florence the forklift, Rick the road roller, Tilly the tow truck, Chelsea the cherry picker, Max the monster truck, Ryan the wrecking ball crane, Fiona the fire truck, Bobby the bus, Larry the lorry, and George the giant dump truck. Whoa, what's happened? We've stopped. Oh, now I can see what's happened. Florence has broken down. And because everyone's in a line, Tilly can't get to the front to help out. Rick the road roller is blocking the way. What are we going to do? This looks like a job for Helen the helicopter. Go, Helen! Hello, Helen. Are we glad to see you? Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Right, Florence. I think this is a job for the mechanicals. Go, go, Mechanicals! Poor Florence. With that wonky wheel, we've really been delayed. But I'll get Helen to give us a lift to the end of the parade. Poor Florence has missed most of the parade. They've had to carry on without her. We'll have to drop her at the back of the line. Oh dear, this is no good at all. Nobody will notice tiny Florence behind giant George. And all she can see is George's back. This won't do at all. But I've got an idea. Hold on Florence, let's get you a better view. Hello again, Florence. Welcome to the best seat in the house. Now Florence is the highest in the parade. She can see everything from up here and everyone can see her. Fantastic. I'm glad we could get Florence fixed up in time. Thanks for joining us today for the big truck parade. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And I'll see you again soon. Bye! Where is Bobby? He's very late. Oh, hello everyone. You haven't seen Bobby the bus anywhere, have you? Bobby was supposed to be taking us back to the garage half an hour ago. But there's no sign of him. <laughs> it's so cold today and Blue Mechanical forgot to bring his hat, scarf and mittens. Oh no, there's Bobby. 
It looks like he's stuck in the snow. He can't get out of that snow drift, and he looks very cold. That can't be good for his batteries. Just like us. Bobby the bus doesn't feel very well if he's too hot or too cold. His batteries work best when they are warm. Bobby's batteries can't give his wheels enough power when it's as cold as this, and his wheels don't have enough grip on the icy road. We need to help him right away. Come in, Tilly. I'm sending you Bobby's location now. Please can you come and rescue him from a snowdrift? Make sure you put your snow chains on your tyres. The weather is terrible out here. Here comes trusty Tilly to ease poor Bobby's pains with her super grippy tyres and sturdy snow chains. She's so strong and steady, she doesn't make a fuss. Even when she's towing, a big electric bus. I don't think Blue Mechanical's feeling very well either. Hello Tilly, are we glad to see you. Let's head back to the garage to warm up. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Bobby turn. Poor Bobby's wheels were really stuck. He couldn't make them go. And his batteries don't work so well under all that ice and snow. Now Tilly's brought him back here, out of the winter storm. We need those kind mechanicals to make poor Bobby warm. Go, go mechanicals! I don't think that little hairdryer will melt this cold snow shower. I think we need something with a little bit more power. That heater's more like it. He'll soon be warm and dried. But how can we keep Bobby's batteries warm when he's back outside? Ah, when we go out into the cold, we wear a winter hat. So they're knitting one for Bobby. Why didn't I think of that? Bobby can stay with us for now to keep warm overnight. He can go out in the morning as soon as it gets light. Good old Trevor the tractor. He's spending the evening clearing the snow from the roads with his snow plough. The snow is melting. Trevor has helped to clear the roads. And Bobby has his new hat to keep him warm. He's off to do his job and pick up some passengers. I'm glad we could get Bobby warm again. Remember to always wear your coat, hat and gloves when you go outside in the winter. Just like me and the mechanicals. Hang on a minute. What happened to poor old blue mechanical? Ah, there he is. Phew! Bye! Hello everyone! Leo the limo's coming over to the garage today. He's a super long stretched out car who takes people to special places in style. Oh no! Look out Leo! Oh dear. Leo's got a scratch down his side now. And he's covered in mud. That's not a good look. You'd better hurry over to the garage, Leo, so we can help you get cleaned and repaired. Oh dear, that puddle must be deeper than it looks. Leo's wheel is stuck. I call for Helen the helicopter. But there's too many trees and not enough room for her to land. I think it's time to call on our newest Gecko's Garage helper, Tilly the Tow Truck. Go, go, Tilly! <laughs> Tilly!
Tilly the tow truck has a big hook that she can use to rescue vehicles in trouble. Tilly's hook is perfect for pulling Leo out of that deep puddle. Thank you, Tilly. Now you can both drive to the garage. Thanks again for your help, Tilly. You're a great new member of our team. Oh dear. Look at the state of you, Leo. Leo's supposed to be driving me and the mechanicals to the premiere of the new Star Trek movie. But we can't turn up with him looking like that. We'd better get you fixed up, Leo. Drive through the truck wash so that we can clean that mud away. There. Now the mud's gone. Let's get you into the garage, so that we can take a good look at you. Let's all see what we can learn, as we make Leo turn. Wow, that is a nasty scratch. And your sunglasses are broken too. Don't worry Leo, the mechanicals will soon have you looking as good as new. Go, go, Mechanicals! That really is an awful scratch. But the Mechanicals have paint to match. A quick respray. New glasses too. And there you are, as good as new. Fantastic! Leo looks like a super cool dude again. Well done, Mechanicals. It's time to drive over to the movie premiere. Jump in, Mechanicals. Red, orange and yellow Mechanicals. Green, blue and purple Mechanicals. Black, white and grey mechanicals, brown mechanical and pink mechanical. Hang on a minute, it looks like the mechanicals have invited all of their friends and family to join us. Goodness me, they're all coming out of the woodwork. Leo might be a stretch limo, but he can't possibly carry all these extra mechanicals to the premiere. He's going to need some help. Here come some helpers now. Maisie the mower, Trevor the tractor, Max the monster truck, Dylan the dump truck, and Bobby the bus. Hmm, I'm still not sure there's going to be room for all these extra mechanicals. Let's measure you. Let's measure the vehicles to see how long they are. We can use the crates to help us. Maisie the mower is the smallest. She's one crate long. Next is Trevor the tractor. Two crates long. The middle truck is Max the monster truck. Three crates long. Even bigger is Dylan the dump truck. Four crates long. The longest vehicle is Bobby the bus. Five crates long. To make more room for more mechanicals, I think we're going to have to turn you all into... Stretch trucks! Let's press the stretch button. The first one in is little Maisie. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Ha <laughs> ha, this machine is really crazy. It pushes and pulls her, fast then slower. Welcome Maisie, the stretch mower. Here comes Trevor from the farm. Don't worry Trev, no need for alarm. Now he really has the X Factor. Introducing Trevor, the Stretch Tractor. Next in line is our friend Max. Following in Trevor's tracks. Everyone will be awestruck by Max, the Stretch Monster Truck. Dylan is the next one through. Ready to join the stretched out crew. A twist, a pull, a nip, a tuck. It's Dylan, the stretch dumper truck. Bobby is the last through the machine. It stretches him like a string bean. It's Bobby XL++. Plus plus plus. It's Super Long Bobby, the stretch bus. Let's see how long our vehicle friends are now. Maisie the mower is six crates long. Trevor the tractor Seven crates long Max the monster truck Eight crates long Dylan the dump truck Is nine crates long And last but definitely not least Bobby the bus is Ten crates long. They're enormous. That's everyone on board. Let's head over to the movie premiere. Wow, this is amazing! Thank you to Leo and my other truck friends for driving us to the movie in style. I'm sorry they can't join us all in the cinema. They're too long to fit in the seats. Hang on a minute. This isn't a regular movie theatre. It's a drive-in. That means everyone can watch the film, even my truck friends. Hooray! I'll see you again soon. Bye! If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching! Bye!